Hello everybody, this is Jay the Geek, and I am here to show you WatchOS 3. One of the best things about the Apple Watch is the ability to use different watch faces. WatchOS 3 adds three new watch faces and new options for watch face customization. The first new face is Numerals. This is a beautiful, simplistic face with a classic yet modern look. It displays the hour in Arabic numerals, and this numeral moves around the clock face as the hour changes. It is quickly becoming one of my favorites to use, and it's really beautiful. You can choose from a variety of nice fonts for the numeral, and of course, there are plenty of colors, as well as the ability for one small complication. The other two new watch faces are Activity Analog and Activity Digital. These put your activity rings front and center right on the watch face. The Activity Digital Face is currently the only watch face that allows you to view seconds, making it great for use while exercising. Of course, these watch faces support all the Apple Watch colors as well, in addition to the analog face supporting a couple complications. And speaking of colors, there are a few new ones on board here to match new Apple Watch bands, such as Royal Blue, Mint, and Apricot. In addition to these new faces and colors, there is also the ability to add complications to more watch faces. For example, previously the photos face only showed the time and date, but now you can put any two complications on this face, and you can also adjust the position of the clock on this face. The time lapse and motion faces also have the ability to add complications to them. I love this feature because I always liked having the weather on my watch face, and so I never really used these faces previously because of the limited at a glance info they provided. But now, with WatchOS 3, I can use them and still get all the info that I want on my watch face. There's even a few new stock complications available, such as this nice music one and these smaller ones which allow you to quickly launch an app right from your watch face, and these are available for most stock apps on many watch faces. WatchOS 3 makes it easier to quickly switch watch faces. Now all you have to do is swipe from edge to edge on the screen to easily swap out your watch face. There is also a new My Faces section in the Apple Watch iPhone app which allows you to view and arrange your watch faces outside of the watch itself. Probably the most important new feature in WatchOS 3 is the dock. Pressing the side button now takes you to a dock where you can store up to 10 of your favorite apps. These apps are kept in the watch's memory and updated in the background, which fixes one of the most common complaints about the Apple Watch, app loading times. Now, apps that are stored in the dock open instantly and are ready right after you open them. It's a huge improvement and a very welcome change. As you scroll through your dock, you'll see the apps are live and updated, so you can glance at them without actually entering them. This means the glances feature is no longer needed. It has been removed and replaced with Control Center, which gives you all of your quick settings toggles. The Now Playing glance has been replaced by a Now Playing app, which can be added to the dock. The dock can be rearranged on the watch itself, which is quite the tricky task, or through the Watch app on your iPhone. WatchOS 3 brings some new apps to the Apple Watch, Reminders, Find My Friends, Heart Rate, and Breathe. The Reminders app is a long overdue edition that I've been wanting for a long time. It's a very straightforward experience that lets you view all your lists and check off your reminders. I've found that it's especially good for shopping while using a grocery list. Find My Friends allows you to view other people's locations, just like in the iPhone app. The Heart Rate app basically replaces the Heart Rate Glance, putting it in the form of an app. It works just like the Glance did, allowing you to easily view your heart rate right on your wrist. Breathe is a new health app which coaches you through deep breathing sessions right on the watch. You can adjust the duration by turning the crown. Apple has overhauled iMessage in iOS 10, and WatchOS 3 gains many of these new features as well. When you receive a message sent with one of these new iMessage effects, you can view them within the conversation in the Messages app. WatchOS 3 also makes it easier to quickly reply to messages. Rather than having to tap a reply button like before, when you get a message, the options and quick replies are already laid out for you, eliminating the step and making it easier and quicker to send a reply. WatchOS 3 is a really cool new way to reply to messages without using dictation or quick replies. It's called Scribble, and it allows you to draw individual characters on the watch screen to write out a message, kind of similar to a Palm Pilot. It's a great option to have, and it works surprisingly well. Another app to receive updates is the Workout app. You can now quick start a workout with a single tap, and the Workout screen now displays more info at once. This way you don't have to swipe between screens to get different info like before, which was always a challenge with sweaty hands. Now you can see all of it with one glance. You can also now lock the screen to prevent unintended taps, for example if you are running or cycling in the rain. And you can now name other workouts after you do them, like you can see here the one I named Racquetball. And for those who love competition, you can now share your activity rings. WatchOS 3 is currently in beta, but should be available to the public in September. As you have seen, this is a very exciting release with tons of new features and improvements. 
that's it for now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my future geeky content. Leave a like and comment as well. God bless, have a great day, and bye for now.